because this is going to be inside of a reservoir for the house, it needs to be mounted with a check valve so that the water doesn't siphon out of it. So I got a check valve here. Wow. And it would appear, appear that goes this way. Okay, now this is going to be the diffuser for the water supply. Yeah, the water supply. And I'm going to put it in there. It's in my pocket. And let's put the right size hole in there. supply diffuser comes in here and we will secure it Okay. 
We can cover it up, but we don't need to deal with that anymore. Now we bring the pump out here, and we're going to put that D and uh, the connection. So, okay. the pump ah. should fit out there, right on the floor. It doesn't require anything special, but let's look at the T to it before we take it out. Has some kind of a valve here. Okay, this belongs to the pump. Okay, it doesn't seem to be. Now we're going to place the big line on there. Here, wrap it in and then pull it back. Go over to about there, Dan. We're, we're still good. Go over further, and then that way you'd be in the deepest part. Just coil it up and just let it go. Now, nope, wrong end. Yeah. There we go. It's good enough. You close it, close it up and it should be all done. Okay, that's bubbling. Bubbling good, huh? Yeah. Now let's see if we still get some bubble in there. All of the pollutants seem to evaporate. This is the ditch that I dug with the tractor to run the line to the pond and I'll smooth it out in a little while with a bucket. Right now this is an in-between step that hasn't been completed. So here is a hose going in there. That's a bubbler, bubbling away nice. And I have some leftover hose, which is fine. And I was gonna use this line to pull it, but it turned out it wasn't necessary. So the next step is to put away the tractor. Hello. First off, I'd like to thank my friend Tom for his assistance in creating this video. You're looking at an aerial view of the pond as it is, or as it was, right after the project was completed. You will notice that the bubbler is boiling in one of the corners and creating waves all over the pond. Uh, there is no difference yet on the quality of the water, but I assume that after a month or so, this will become more apparent. I do hope that you subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to build it right now. 
and that perhaps you like this video. Thank you and have a good day.